Good day guys, Austin here, and in this one today, we are going to be taking a close look at Xbox Emulation, a long forgotten console which has been left in the doldrums for a long, long time. Now when it comes to emulation, there is only one real emulator that's starting to push through, and that is CXBX Reloaded. The main developer is Luke Usher, and a couple of weeks ago I brought to you a video of what was about to be released. In this video, I'm bringing you what has been released. Now, not only has he come through to his word and released the 0.1 version of this emulator, but also he's pushed it even further. We've now got a new API involved in the last couple of days. That is DirectX 9, although it sounds dated, that is brand new to this emulator. Now, I know this system and many of the games can be played on an Xbox 360, but with an emulator by itself on a PC, as we know with other systems, we can push them to the maximum. We can do things that we've never even imagined. We can just emulate and play every game on one system. So for me, that's awesome because I don't want to have two different systems to play the same game. So without further ado, let's see what's been going on with this emulator, what he's done and how it's performing with a few of these games in real time. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Okay, so first test is up and we are playing Jet Set Radio Future. Now I'm playing this in real time, so you experience this along with me. And so far, so bloody good. Look at that. That's looking good. Right, let's get into game. Enough of this teasing. So in the past, this has been a, a game that we could have played for some time, to be honest. It has been playable on this emulator and progress has come on leaps and bounds since they've released version 0.1 however there has been quite a lot of artifacts on the screen and it just doesn't look right one of the main ones that i've been told is the spray cans however like we talked about today there's been a new release of this build of the emulator and it's now implementing DirectX 9 as we talked about but apparently it probably has or should have fixed the spray can issue. So what I'm talking about is as you're playing this game Jet Set Radio Future um, at certain points you're supposed to do graffiti all over the place and basically leave your tag on the wall. Now the thing is that that wasn't rendering properly apparently so we're gonna have a look see if we can Take a look to see on my little test now and see if that is working. Okay. So let's get through all this first, apparently. Okay, first one done. Jeez, it's been so long since I've played this game. What a game as well. So for those of you who haven't played Jet Set Radio Future before, it is completely different from the Dreamcast Jet Set Radio, or if you're US, then Jet Grind Radio. It is a completely different game, and in my opinion, it's been, I forgot you could have a look around. In my opinion, it's actually better. Now, of course, it depends on your taste and all that kind of stuff. I just like the feel of this one more. Okay, so now I think I've got my graffiti on the go. There we go. Spray cans are in. So I need to collect 10 of these. And now I should be able to start spraying. I could do with getting more of the cans actually if I can. There we go. So now I should be able to spray. We'll see if this renders properly. Yeah, that's looking good for me. <laughs> yes! I mean, to be honest, I haven't played this game in literally years. So I cannot say for certain if that was the error, but that's what I'm told was the error. Let's see if I can get the camera. I think it's too close to it. <laughs> Let's actually see if I can get the camera and look, see if there is anything going on. Not what I can see. And to be honest, I've not seen any discrepancies or issues with the rendering of the characters either. I did see in the past a lot of trails that were going on behind the character, like, it's hard for me to describe, but 
like when you get the 80s videos and they got neon trails on the lights and things like that that was what the character did on a lot of occasions and it was very noticeable when you were doing this okay so moving on to another area i'm gonna fast forward this now five minutes later okay so here we are i'm now in one of the levels and this is looking beautiful i'm not seeing any graphical errors whatsoever and this is me now causing absolute chaos i am still seeing slight trails on some of the characters but from what i can remember that may have been actually in the original game it's been so long since i've booted the original look to even know about any of this and everything other than that is looking pretty good you have to really look closely to notice that kind of thing but in terms of the speed and the way everything's been rendered for me it looks pretty much perfect I'm going mental in this breakdown by the way so yeah I would say that this is now a pretty good to go game of course I haven't tested it all you've seen as much as me but everything that I have seen is pretty good to go cutscenes gameplay the lot so, without further ado, let's move on to the next. Okay then, so next up we've got Panzer Dragoon Auto. I am such a Panzer Dragoon fan, it is unbelievable. However, it has been many, many years since I've played this. Now, I know it's out on a 360, but many people actually prefer the actual Xbox version. So, having this playable will open many doors and deeds for those of people who want to go down that route. And to be honest, it's a good game to actually launch up and see if it's running. Again, it's been years since I've played this, but I remember the opening level being quite intense. There was quite a lot of stuff going on, so it should be a good one for us to test on how this is progressing. And here we go, straight into the action. Boom! That actually looks pretty good. I've got all settings set to stock on all these games. I'm not pushing the uh, resolution or anything so far. I am seeing quite a lot of stutters there. Maybe it's why a lot of the cache is building. I'm not sure. I'm not really too clued up on this emulator as of yet. It's pretty damn new to me. Um, but in terms of gameplay and stuff, it's looking pretty damn good. I'm hoping that the more I play it, maybe the cache is something that needs to be put in so it should get smoother it is even in itself out now but as you can see it's pretty damn intense however I remember there being little tiny uh, spaceships or dragons can't remember it's been so long actually fighting against me they don't seem to be rendering I can see the missiles though see where the lights are on the screen I'm sure ah there we go you can see one there I'm sure there's supposed to be some nearby as well, though. This is such a great game. Oh, whoa, what the hell? You see that? I got attacked by a big, massive UFO made of white. <laughs> yeah, they're not rendering correctly. I can see the missiles when they fire them, but I can't see the actual crafts. You see the red little lights there? They're supposed to actually be crafts. Or dragons from what I remember they don't seem to be appearing on the screen so there is some glitches on this game when I was speaking to the developer he did state that there will be a regression although they have implemented DirectX 9 into this I suppose implementing such a huge thing like that would mean that there will be a regression in terms of the API being able to render certain graphics because well up to now everything and all progress has been made on a different API so I would expect that but in terms of stability and playing, now that I've actually played the game for a couple of minutes, you can tell yourself, it's all smoothed itself out. We are pretty much good to go in terms of performance. I'm getting a steady Eddie 60, which is exactly the kind of performance that I want. There is the odd glitches from now and again with that white banding that's going on, but yeah, I'm liking that. The rain seems to come in and out as well, I've noticed on the effects. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so I think we've tested this one out now. It is playing, but there is graphical issues. Me, myself, this is a classic game, so I wouldn't want to 
experience this for the first time if I was new to this to actually playing it on this version right now it's a classic and from having enemies that are not rendering correctly on the screen like that <laughs> shots are coming from nowhere I just don't think it's playable it's almost there as you can see but no it's a shame really because it's a classic hopefully soon though there is updates almost daily with these guys so they're pushing forward and well let's move on to the next So next we have got Shenmue 2. Now what a game. And yes, I know, it's just come out on the PC. I've got it. But this one before that, it was the only English version for a start. The Shenmue 2 and the Dreamcast, it looked awesome and it was great. But the problem was that it was in Japanese in terms of the actual speech language. Obviously all the subtitles and everything were in English. but. Yeah, this was the only way to play it with the original voice that you remember from the original Dreamcast. So, yeah. Anyway, looks like there's quite a lot of graphical glitches going on on this. Now, I remember there was in the past, but again, same as Alter. It was working, and it wasn't as bad as this is from what I remember. Again, I've not touched this emulator in literally years, so I'm not the gospel of intelligence when it comes to this one. I'm literally seeing this and the enhancements and the progress that it's made along with you guys. So uh, what I'm going to do now is fast forward and we'll get to some actual gameplay when it gets on the dock. Okay, so we are now on the dock. We're blipping around. I just got through all the cutscenes so I could have a look around and show you the performance of what's going on. And to be honest, it's improved. The sounds come back. Everyone seems to be, uh, well, rendered properly. Everybody can talk properly. Can I talk to somebody so I can show you the speech? Excuse me. Huh? See, there you go. All is good. The, again, there is some like seizure inducing lighting effect that's going on in the background. But to be honest, it's a lot better than from what I remember the last time I tested this. And again, same as all of, you know, there is bound to be some kind of regressions now they've implemented the DirectX 9. But for me, yeah, it's playable. I wouldn't experience this as the first time you've played it, but it's worth a mooch if you're interested. So let's test another. So next up is actually a feature rather than a game. I just thought that would be interesting for you guys to see. But you can actually emulate the dashboard. <laughs> I know it's not exactly crazy. It's not exactly going to send the world on fire. But I think it's a good little thing. I mean, I haven't had time to actually go in there and check all the stuff. I mean, on the original Xbox, you used to be able to get into video settings. And all these were on off. But I don't know if it makes any actual settings in game. I've got no idea. Maybe it's only for the actual settings. It makes no difference in the actual emulator itself. I do know that by messing with the resolution on the emulator, like I talked about, it does mess up a few games. Apparently, some games will work with enhanced resolutions, but it does make things glitchy. So for the this video, like I said, I kept everything as default. So I'm not sure if those settings would make any difference. Uh, also while you're in here it is actually handy and useful because you can go in there go into the memory and you can access all these save games so if you need to do any kind of weird stuff with games then you've got access through this dashboard now you do actually have to download the dashboard itself if you google it dashboard wherever it is for microsoft xbox then there is files available on official websites and you can download them and it's just a case of installing it onto your emulator it's that easy but i just thought it'd be a nice feature for you guys to show well some other stuff that it can do 
So I think we've more or less covered everything in this video. We've seen a few games working, some more than others. I probably should have chosen more, I don't know, accurately or well emulated games. But as this DirectX uh, 9 is so new, who knows what actually is the most compatible game. So there probably is a lot more compatible than I've actually showcased here. But, you know, I just thrown this on. I did some of my more favorite games to see how they would run. If you want me to test any other specific games individually, then put them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to do one-off videos for those. Just a quick one to show you how things are progressing with each game. Let me know what games you would like tested. Well, I think we've more or less covered everything in this. I just thought I'd bring it to your attention so you guys can get involved. I would say thank you to everybody that's on the actual CXBX Reloaded Discord server. I'll put a link to that server in the description down below. Those guys have been absolutely amazing, helping me out, getting this configured, up and running. It's been literally like two years since I loaded this emulator up properly and had a good tinker with it. So this one was a bit off the wall. I just thought I'd you know, see what's going on. And those guys have been amazing, getting me up to speed and it all. There again is some updates that are planned. They are bringing in the ISO compatibility. So no longer do you have to dump the games from the disc images. They're completely playable from the image itself, which makes launching games a lot easier if you've got, got that kind of format. And I think that's about it, to be honest. I'm waffling on now. But thank you very much to everybody involved. Thank you very much to Luke Usher, the lead developer over there, who's come on and picked up this Xbox and actually ran with it like I've never seen before. Xbox emulation is now a real thing, finally. And he's done God's work by doing it. So big up to him and the rest of the team and everybody that's been involved, including you guys watching this video. So thank you very much for watching me today, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Please like, please subscribe, please do all the magical things that you could ever imagine in this wonderful world where we get to play Xbox games finally. <laughs> but most of all, most of all, you guys have a good day. Laters!